Well, I'm actually in Missouri. I'm driving through. Um, I'll probably explain some a little bit at the end if I hadn't already explained it in an earlier video. But um, during the COVID-19, uh, Missouri really encourages people getting out and fishing. And actually, for non-resident and residents, they've uh, they put a, a hold, I guess, on having to buy a license. So for a few, for like two weeks here, you don't even have to have a license to fish. If I read that right, and I think I did, I, I've never fished in Missouri, not a, never caught a fish out of Missouri. Uh, I'm not gonna fish here long, but there's these ditches that go through all this farmland. This is this awesome farmland going through this area here. Um, and this one's got quite a bit of flowing water going into it. And I'm like, well, let me just stop here. I, I wanted to fish a couple hours this afternoon. It actually got kind of cold, it's like 50 degrees out. But um, I think I think maybe some if there's some fish in there, I think they should be active. So I'm gonna give it a few casts. I'd like to get my first Missouri fish today. All right, I just walked up here, cast in, and I saw a fish jump up out of the water. So I know there's some there's something in there. It may be a good catfish spot right here. I don't I don't really know how deep it is. But these uh this water's flowing, but it goes through all these farmlands where it probably picks up a lot of silt, especially as the farmers are plowing up the fields right now. Oh, I just saw some fish in my way. We definitely know there's fish in here. I really would like to get a bass out of here, but then I'll probably just try to get whatever I can get. Bunch of minnows right there. Oh yeah, this is, this is gonna be some fish. There's a fish. Dude! Yes! It's a, wow! Nice, that's a spotted bass. A chunky spotted bass. Oh, I should have had my camera still on, my other camera. Boom. <laughs> How cool is that? Missouri, thank you very much. Look at that little guy. Dude, this, this little place looks really cool. I don't, I mean, there's a, there's a couple footprints down here, but I don't know if people, if it's like a spot where people come and fish. There's like, I saw a lot of these as I was driving through. Look at that little dude, chunky. He's like really green looking. Oh, something just jumped out there. I'm trying to take a picture here. All right, gotta get some pics for the gram. Boom, first fish already. Let me see what my timer is. Four minutes. Like, and I was walking around up there mostly. All right, let's throw him back in there. This could be really good. Or it could be like the only one, but let's see if we can catch a bunch more. Oh yeah, there we go. Another bass, I think, yep. Oh, another spotted bass. These guys are so chunky sitting in here. This one right here is up there where the first one was. Just feeding probably. That, I mean, I'm sure someone's fished this ditch or fished ditches like this before, but there's probably no telling what could really be in here. Like anything could live in a spot like this. It, I, I imagine it's, eight, 10 feet deep. And uh, I'm just catching a, a couple of them around here and no telling what could really be living in these spots. That's what I love these spots, especially something on the side of the road, right by this big old farms, just kind of out in the middle of nowhere, it seems like. There he is. Yeah, got that one. All right, number four. Another spotted bass. Just, these guys are chunky little fish. Let's try to get down a little closer to put him in. Mm. All right. This little minute seems to be getting them bass, that's for sure, just working it slow. Let's uh, just keep working that area. There's one. Oh, he grabbed the tail. I tried to use uh, several other lures, and I can't believe I didn't get any bites off them. So, 
There he is. Good fish. Man, they are stacked up under that spot. Hold on. Oh man, that's the biggest one of the day. That's a nice fish. I don't think that's the first one I caught. It's it's in the same spot. Oh, it's, it's in the same. Whoa. Spot. There you go, buddy. All right. Well, I'm getting bites fishing it like this. I'm letting it drift, drift into that current kind of there, right on the edge. Just looking to eat something right there. Hot stuff flowing through here. Farmers are, oh, what? They, I thought they were uh, tilling it up. They might still be tilling it up. Big old tractors over there. Big old fields over there. Those fields are huge. Pretty cool. Oh, it's good fish. Yeah. Oh, man. It's all over the place. What is that? Oh, another bass. Nice bass. This little spillway spot is loaded. Oh, that's a good fish. He was on the right side. Finally got it in there. That's a nice little fish there. A little bit smaller than that last one, but solid fish. Okay, yeah. Man, these, these are a little spotted bass. I haven't seen any big ones yet, but these little guys are just nice little chunks of fish. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Another good one. Oh, this might be the biggest one. Hold on there. Hold on there. Man, the guy is digging. Nice bass. Oh, this this might be the fattest one. Dude, this thing is fat. Come on. Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Got this. Oh, we wasn't even hooked in there. That tough. It was in the top of the mouth there. Chunky little bass right there. That's a cool fish. That's the biggest one for sure. Farmer's waving at me. Uh, let's get a picture. I'll get the tractor in the background. All right, that is a cool fish. Let's weigh that guy. Goodness. That bass weighs 1.3 pounds. 1.3 pounds, just so fat. Here in uh, South Missouri, don't even know really where I'm at. I'm driving through, I'm, I guess, hour or so out of Kentucky. I know I go to these kind of places all the time, but I really am blown away by how many sometimes, sometimes I go places that don't catch anything, but I go to places all the time and I just catch a lot of fish because they're in there. And a lot of times just get overlooked or, you know, it's not easy access places. A lot of times, no, not a lot of people live around this area, which I'm not far from some of the big rivers where people go fishing, but a little, uh, that's a white crappie I think too. So that's how one will get out of here. I don't know how much long, I'm only gonna fish a little bit longer, but it's already been a really good time. Oh, got him. Oh, got another crappie. Ooh, that's a good one. I felt the tug and then, oh, yeah, it's not bad there. Ouch, ouch. ouch. Crappie number two, yeah, these are white crappie. That's cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, getting bigger. Dude, that's a good one. That's a good fish. 
No, he's not quite as big. He's probably nine inches, but uh, pretty thick, solid white crappie there. Dude, they are right there. I definitely am on them right now. Oh, that's a black crappie, I think. Short and stocky. They are down, down in there deep though. Uh, yeah, I think that's a black crappie. But look how, look how like healthy a fish that is. It's round, thick. They're just little, young. Oh yeah. That one was a little more aggressive. He just really hit it. Nice. Yep, they're there. I was gonna go for some sunfish, but I don't think I'm going to now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and fish a little bit more right here, catch any more bass or crappie. Uh, I kind of want to see what kind of sunfish there are, but I'm not. I'm gonna leave them, and it's getting dark, and I got um, uh, another video to edit, so I got a little bit of work to do on my YouTube stuff. Okay. I'm trying to set the hook really easy. Wow. <laughs> And then there's the tiny ones, so then we got a good range of fish in here. Well, I am now stuck in. Oh, well, nope, not stuck. I was going to end it, but I'm not yet. This guy's all beat up and tore up. But uh, he's, he's really ripped up, tail's gone. We're going to try and catch a few more fish before I make myself leave. Yep. Ooh, nice. That may be close to 10 inches long there. Man, what a little stop. Couple hours, fish on the side of the road. I gotta, I'll find out what town this is in just a minute from, I guess, the pictures, just so you know, but middle of nowhere to me because I have no idea where I'm at. There is so many little fish in there. This place, this is crazy. And, and just to think, like, I found them there, which, you know, I guess that's kind of where they should be, but what if there's that many over there in that spot that I wasn't fishing right, or down there over there? You just, it's hard to say how many fish can be in a hole sometimes. It's definitely a good one. It's got a good water flow coming in, nice deep pool. Uh, just, just a perfect place for fish to hold up, eat, live. Oh, you want it? Take it. I got you. Set the hook real. Oh, 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 oh my goodness! Holy cow! Don't come off. I didn't set the hook very hard. That's a giant. That's the biggest white crappie I've ever caught. Oh my. Goodness, look at that thing. Oh, we gotta get a measurement on this. What a slab. All right, 13 inch long white crappie. Just about to leave. Cast it. I'm like, I wanna get a few more casts, maybe get a couple more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a few more casts in there. That is a slab of a crappie. All right. Yeah, I don't catch a lot of white crappie. I've caught a few. They got the vertical bars. That's a giant. This poor little Kytec was ripped up, beat up, about to fall apart. And then it ends up catching a 13, and it was like a 13 and an eighth probably inch crappie. All right, this right here is, uh, I love the spinners and muddy water. I have to throw this thing around. Um, it, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if there's a bass that hits it, or it wouldn't surprise me if there's a bass big enough to hit it for sure. Uh, if I get one, you know, it'd be just another amazing thing from like one, one time stopping and fishing at a place. But we'll see what happens. So yeah, nothing's better than getting out, especially when you're supposed to be stuck at home, getting out, doing some fishing by yourself, at a ditch, out here in, let me find out what town. Out here in Sykeston, Missouri. Uh, I don't know what to say, it was incredible. 
if I'd have caught a big bass or something there at the end, it would have been, been ridiculous over the top. But it, I love trying these places, and it's amazing how many times I go to a spot like this and actually end up catching fish. Perfect time of the year, early spring, fish are biting. Well, thanks so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Had just a blast. Two, maybe two and a half hours. It's funny how just a couple little tweaks uh, made the difference between catching, you know, a lot of fish and just catching one or two. Like I started the first 30 minutes, I'd caught a couple and really nothing for 20 or 30 minutes. Started moving around, switching, trying things, getting slower, getting in there. Boom, started pulling out bass. Moved over to a little other spot. Boom, started catching crappie. And I mean, I wanted to catfish it and bluegill fish it. I would love to see what all is in there, but I'm not going to. I'll leave that for someone else to try. But thanks for watching. I'm going to head on down the road and no telling where you're going to see me fishing at next.